Okay, so we're doing Melody Journey again, where we're gonna be watching the songwriter, and then we're gonna see the A-list artist do their magic. And you've seen this, mm -hmm. and you quite like this one. I do. And Jay, you've not seen it. No, I haven't. Oh, let's go. Today, we're bringing you a song from the Guan. Then, we hope we can find a person who can bring it back home. It's a great song. It's a great song. I wish I could be with you With your voice it's lovely. And this feels like a song that I would have loved in like high school. I mean, it's still beautiful, mm -hmm. but it has vibes of old school, old school Ballad. something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ghosts，别让我在你紧抱的怀里越陷越深。我不想用长情泪的唇，在明知故问。你爱的人，是否另有其人？ 给我你答案里最诚实的版本，你可以只回应我一个多深的眼神，我不会拿过去当做留住你的自白。你爱的人，如果已是别人。放心走，我不追问。放心走，我不追问。哦，这个好听，好听，好听。哎，好，好听，好听。I kind of miss the days. When pop songs had a little bit more complexity, chord wise, mm. I do like simple. I know I always say that I love a good four chord turnaround, but there's I think this this is why this kind of reminds me of an R and B vibe. I'm curious if that's where it's taken. Yeah. Is it taken in an R and B direction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall we lyric? Yeah. Here's the English translation by AI. Thank you. <laughs> See how poetic uh, AI is today. What is the song called? Somewhere along the lines of yeah. you know, but you're still asking. You know the answer, but you're still asking. As in, I know? Y yeah, just I like know, a but I'm checking. Statement. It's like, oh. why ask? When you know and you have when an idea. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, my guess is that this is going to be a love lost yeah. song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think all I can do is match the tone of your false testimony. Oof, AI. Um, false testimony. Just a second. <laughs> That's a direct translation from the Chinese word. It is. Is it? Yeah. I think all I can do is match the tone of your false testimony. I think, to me, this this means you might be lying to me, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, but the memory of us still carries a lingering warmth. We who once trusted each other unconditionally, when did we become strangers? So it sounds to me like the author is looking back really fondly on the relationship they had. Mm -hmm. Warm memories, mm -hmm. good times. That's all, right? I'm not missing anything there? No. Okay. I think all I can do is match the tone of your false testimony. The promises were so captivating, I believed them to be true. We who trusted each other unconditionally, how could we bear to hold grudges? So again, I think this is stating they're reflecting back on how warm and lovely the relationship was. 
So they're now, and they trusted each other and everything was so aligned and things were so good. So how could we bear to hold grudges? Like, can we really stay apart? Do we really want to, you know, grudges, literally, like, mm -hmm. is, is that? Yep. Feel good? Yep. yep, it feels good. Don't let me sink deeper and deeper into your tight embrace. I don't want to ask again, knowing the answer with lips that have tasted tears. The person you love, is it someone else? Okay, so that's the big question here. We are... The, where the author is asking, is there someone else? Mm -hmm. Is there someone else you're in love with? Yep. Um, above that, I think lips that have tasted tears. I think they're just both looking back at the, the, the fondness of the relationship, but also referring to tears, possibly the breakup or, or, or the her, hard times. Or even her just like thinking there's someone else. So she's probably cried over it. And now she's thinking, you know. You're saying she, but we have a male singer. Are you leading me to believe? Oh no! Leading sorry. me to believe that a female. Yeah, sorry. Because I'm thinking from my perspective. Yeah, let's say him. Okay. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> thinking from my perspective as a female. But yeah, you're right. So the author. The author. Because he's because the author's saying, "Don't let me like in your embrace," like you said. So it makes me believe that they're embracing still, so they're still together, and he's thinking maybe well, there's someone else. Well, don't let me sink deeper into your tight embrace. Is like, don't hug me if you don't mean it. Like don't yeah, like, agree. like don't yes. don't embrace me, don't draw me in yeah, yeah, if there's yeah. someone else or if you don't really totally. mean it. Yes, that's what I think he's trying to say. Okay, give me the most honest version of your answer. So again, tell me. I yes. want to know the truth. You can respond with just a single evasive glance. I won't use our past as a reason to hold on to you. So with just one look, tell me if you're in or you're out. Tell me if you still love me. And I'm I'm going to take you at face value value even though we have this beautiful relationship we have this beautiful past i won't use that i'm not going to just hold on to you because we had good times tell me where we're at now yeah the person you love if it's already someone else walk away freely i won't question that's pretty self-explanatory if you're in love with someone else please go yes i understood i should have let go long ago but i'm unwilling the pain and happiness you left behind i can't distinguish between them so <laughs> the author is wrestling with the beauty of the relationship but also the turmoil and the sadness of the bad times and or breakup mm -hmm. we can't tell the difference or we can't know which which is the truth mm -hmm. of the relationship uh, you can respond with just a single evasive glance i won't use our past as a reason to hold on to you the person you love it, if it's already someone else, walk away freely. The person you love will be happy one day. <laughs> I love the last little turnaround line. The person you love will be happy one day. We don't know if that's the author, right? It's like, yeah. whoever you're in love with will be happy. <laughs> is it me? Is it someone else? Is it me? Huh? Yeah, this, this is a beautiful song. I Again, you've kind of let me know that I think it's going to be a female singing it, which, <laughs> which kind of, I don't know. I, I liked it being a dude, but I can see mm -hmm. how it has a feminine, like it will work with a feminine perspective. Yeah? I keep my mouth shut. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Let's see what we got. I don't, oh, and just to say, did you like, did you like his voice? I thought he had a decent voice. Yeah, I thought he yeah. was a good singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought he was a good singer. Yep. I thought if I was going to be really, really picky, and every time I say st stuff like this, I hope that people are kinder to me. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little rushed. I don't know if he was nervous or, or what, but he was a little rushed on the on the piano. But it's hard. It's hard. When you're playing solo, you're kind of marching, playing to the beat of your own orchestra, if you will. Mm -hmm. But I thought he was really lovely and handsome, but I thought the song was, was quite lovely. It's a good song. Are we duetting? Mm. We are! So it's... Both of these chicks. Okay. Yeah. What are their names, just in case? Jane. Oh, I remember Jane. Uh, San Yichun. And who? San Yichun. The sad looking one. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this Jane? That's it, it's the push pull. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
好像我也只能和你的美着同一口吻，承诺的太隐忍。Did they add that chord in? Add that little dissension? I don't remember that from the original. I, uh, since I'm wow. stopped anyway, I will say that I don't know if I like this as a female female duet. I don't know if it like makes sense to me based on the lyrics. Okay. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, and I actually be, being a duet doesn't make sense to me. It's very like intimate, very personal. Yeah. No. Yeah, the row is kind of weird. Which that's what that's I mean. Point. Yeah, yeah. 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 It just to me, it's very intimate, and that's why I liked the original dude. Just right into the camera, right. Yeah, it's just that's a good very point. intimate. Are you? Do you love this? So are we happened? gonna we're gonna go two two separate directions? Which on is okay one? because I didn't think about it from your angle. So what happened here is both ladies wanted to sing the song, and he it was <laughs> tough for him to pick just one. Mm -hmm. So he actually picked both of them, and that's why they ended up singing the song together. Okay, so what that's did, how it how it happened. What did people think of that? Um, I I guess yeah, people really like this duet. Okay, do they actually harmonize? I guess I'll well, find out myself. You know, and they're both prolific, so we'll see what they do with it. I like her little back. She's very agile. Sorry, I meant the chord. Oh. Wait, yes. She's, she's very agile. It's edited, but beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It didn't do this in the original, did it? No. The, the bridge? The, the, I don't think there was. We didn't hear a bridge. bridge. No. We didn't hear a bridge. I guess that's what it was. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear it. That's correct. Uh, <laughs> Well, you know what, Flo? I just think not, that. It's not doing it for you? You know, I think that making it into this giant grand production, especially with two vocalists, I'm missing the intimacy. I'm missing the, mm. the sweetness. I'm missing the honesty a little bit. Yep. Plus the vocal editing. I'm not a big fan of their vocal editing. It's really quite overdone. Yeah. And I suspect really unnecessary. Really unnecessary. You've heard them both like yes. singing in live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think both vocalists are making lovely decisions. Particularly, sorry, the girl in the black dress. Yeah, San Yichun. Yeah, does she have an English name? Yichun. Yichun. Yichun San. Yichun? Yichun. Okay. <laughs> She doesn't have an English name. Yichun. Yichun? Yeah. Yichun. Yichun? Yichun, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yichun, very good. Well, I think I particularly appreciate her decisions. And one thing I can point out about her vocal styling that uh, is quite beautiful, I call them the bounce, where she's doing little lifts. But hers are particularly beautiful to me because they are really, really shallow lifts. Mm -hmm. And usually when people first learn those things and even after they've used them for a long time, they end up saying, ah, ah, 
it's quite an obvious lift, quite a depthy lift. Mm -hmm. Not even too much, but I think that it's quite beautiful when they're very subtle. So instead of ah, we get ah. Yeah, Do you see how subtle small. that is? Just a teeny little lift, and it shows. It shows beautiful agility, mm -hmm. but I also think it's a really lovely detail because it's not such a like look. I did it. I'm doing a thing. It's just a really, really subtle detail. Yeah. But again, I think you and I are going to have to huh. agree to disagree. Like <laughs> Sorry, what? I like the male version better. Too. You do too. Okay, well, two against one, two Sounds against one. Better. But maybe you win because there's two of them. So uh, it uh, <laughs> evens out. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, but in harmony. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I would. Harmonize. It's that. risky. Yeah. It's risky, um, but I think I want to say one more thing because I bet you one of the reasons you were excited for this is because the singing is is good. Even though I'm preferring the original, yeah. it's nice. It's mm -hmm. nice, and had I not heard the original, I think that I would have thought this was lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And if you didn't read the lyrics, you wouldn't even... Yeah, it wouldn't have bothered me as much. Yeah. Yep. So, that's not... so did they release it as a duo? Yeah. yeah. Like it's been put out? Yeah. Yes, it has. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, it's great to have two, two big old celebs on a song. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And they shared the parts nicely. It was mm -hmm. divided nicely. And that run down, it's, it's hard. There's a story them. behind that. So synced. It is. So, I would have loved to heard it live, live. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's wild. That's yeah, a wild yeah, decision. Yeah. You're right, though. Yeah. You're right. That is a feat. Yeah. It is a feat. So the story behind it is during rehearsal, they did the run and they couldn't make it sound right. And like you said, <laughs> oh. it was hard to get it. So it's mushy, mushy. So boom, they boom. would listen to it. They'd be like, oh, why does it sound like that? Okay, let's try again. Do it again. Oh, it's still terrible. Can you turn up her voice in my ear? Oh, wait, it still doesn't still. They did a lot of work around it. Okay. So that is the whole, is like the selling point of the song. Well. <laughs> so it is risky, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think the treatment yeah. of the song takes away from what you just said a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. But. That's fair. But uh, I do think this is a is a nice song, and I find it more relatable than lots of other Chinese songs. Mm. I, I thought it was nice. Yeah. Do you want to learn this? Cause I... Billie Eilish's song, What Was I Made For? From the Barbie movie, let's do it. First, the word cuz has a little check mark or scoop. Sounds like this. Cuz. Repeat after me. Cuz. Now the riff on I is nine notes long, but we're gonna break it into five chunks, like this. I. That is one note, two notes, two notes, two notes, two notes. Repeat after me. with me. Let's put it together. Now, each of the two note packages, let's make them feel more bouncy. Let's go faster. Did you get it?